Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about how to motivate yourself when you feel lazy. So let's say you had a long day at work, you work 10, 12 hours, you're tired, your boss pissed you off, you had a coworker that called out, um, you had some angry customers. Um, overall, you just had a rough day and you know, you get off, you get off work, you feel like shit, you feel tired, you feel pissed off, but you know, hey, I still have things I need to get done for the rest of the day. So how do you reconcile a spark inside of you to get things done, to motivate yourself when you feel lazy, tired, pissed off, whatever, right? There's a multitude of reasons why we can, there's a multitude of excuses we can use to not uh, get things done, right? So let me start off by saying I'm not against positive thinking. I'm not against being happy all the time, trying to make yourself happy, trying to put yourself in a positive mind frame. But guys, in life, it's not realistic to be positive all the time, right? Uh, as far as like work is concerned, as far as things go, there are always problems that arise. There's always things that stress us out. And positive thinking, like I said, it helps to get you through rough times. But being happy all the time and always being motivated and always being, uh, you know, just ecstatic to get shit done. It's not a reality. It, it just isn't. And like I said, I can, I can speak on this because I know from experience that it's just not. Yes, there are days where I'm like, hey, you know what? The gym, like going to the gym just feels effortless that day or uploading a video just feels effortless that day. But there are also days where I feel like I have to pull my teeth to get my ass up and go to the gym or upload a video or do something because of, like I said, many excuses, many reasons. It's not, but those aren't important, right? So how do you motivate yourself when you feel lazy, when you feel tired, pissed off, angry, whatever? What you do is you use your anger, you use the, the life that you're living, the circumstances that you're currently in or that you've been in in the past to motivate you to, to, to take action, to change your life, right? So for example, let's say I have a job that I hate, uh, that I'm just absolutely, I, I dread going to work every day, right? I do, I go to work every day, but I just, let's say I absolutely dread it. It's stressful, it's annoying. Like I said, I hate the people I work with, I hate my boss, my customers are annoying. Um, you know, there's always problems, there's always headaches. And, you know, I get home and I know, hey, I still need to go to the gym. I still need to upload this video. I still need to be consistent. How do I motivate myself to do those things? You motivate yourself by basically in your mind, making a distinction like, okay, if I decide not to take action, right? Because I'm tired, because I'm pissed off, because of whatever reason you have, then my life is just gonna stay the same, right? And when you really internalize that and you really understand, like, wait, if I, you know, like I said, if I have a rough day and I go home and I just uh, drown myself in addictions and drugs and social media and just have a victim mindset, oh, what was me, this and that, and I just don't take action with whatever I'm trying to do, then my life's going to stay the same. And, that's, and that should scare the living hell out of you. Right, because damn, if my life's the same this year and next year and the next five, 10 years, what is like, I'm wasting my life and that's scary, right? Because like I said, you're either getting, I've said this in many videos, but you're either evolving or you're dying. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. So by you going home and you, you know, making the excuse of, oh, uh, this happened today or this has been happening for the past week or so. so you know what, I'm too stressed out, I can't do it, I'm, uh, I'm just not gonna upload this video or go to the gym. Well, yeah, now you, you, you're, you are a defeatist. You have let life circumstances deter you from your purpose, from your goals, from your vision. And then that's why you lose, that's why you fail. That's why so many people fail in life and just work 40 years, 40, hour, 40 hours for 40 years, have barely anything for retirement and live a shit life. So. Um, like I said, motivating yourself comes from, can, from your, can come from your current circumstances or past events. So I just talked about current 
like circumstances, but you can also like use past events. Like, you know, there's been days where, hey, like I said, I don't feel like getting up and going to the gym. I don't feel like reading this book. I don't feel like meal prepping. I don't feel like doing the things I know I need to do. But when I feel like I'm not motivated or I'm lazy or I'm tired, you know what I'll do? I'll sit down on my couch or my bed and for about five minutes, I'll go back into my past and think about all the girls that rejected me. I'll think about the basketball coach that uh, didn't pick me for the basketball team, right? I'll think back to being benched on the football team. I'll think about uh, many things that happened to me. And when I think about those things and I get pissed, I get angry, that anger I use, I generate, see, the way to motivate yourself is you need to generate feeling. Whether it's good or negative, it doesn't matter. But when you generate that feeling of anger, when you generate that feeling of I'm gonna fucking destroy this person, or I'm, I'm you just get you get yourself into a state where you're like, you 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 just want to take action. Like when you're angry, think about when you're angry, right? Let's say you're extremely angry. You'll go around your house, you'll punch the pillow, you'll fucking start screaming, right? But guess what? You can use the action that you're taking to go accomplish your goals. You can use that action, all that pissed off energy to go to the gym, to go upload a video, to go read a book, to complete an assignment, to do what you need to do to accomplish your goals, right? So you can create a better future. So like I said in the beginning of this video, positive thinking is great, feeling good is great, feeling positive, happy, and, and optimistic, and all that is good. But guys, listen, for the most part, for, well, maybe 50% 50, 50 of the time, you're not always gonna feel that way. There are going to be days on end where you will feel pissed off, depressed, mad, angry, sad, tired, a combination of everything that we deem as negative. But like I said, you can use negativity to accomplish your goals and create your future. So most people just let negativity, fear, greed, uh, anger, laziness, depression, they let that destroy them. But little do they know that they can use all of that, all of that negativity to take, it can be used as fuel to take action and create more positive results, right? So that's the beauty of being human is that we have those emotions in a way, it's almost like in a way God is making you feel a certain way so that you never have to feel that way again so that you can take action to have a better life circumstance in the future so you can avoid certain things that cause you to feel depressed, sad, angry, tired, etc. Right? For example, let's say you want you're tired because you're working too much. Well, God is making you feel tired so that you can know, hey, I can create a better future where I don't have to feel tired, where I can wake up when I want when I can do what I want so that I don't feel fatigued, I don't feel stressed all the time. So God, it's almost, like I said, I've said this in videos before, but reality is, a, is dualistic. We have good and evil. So God uses things that we deem as evil to help us get to more goodness, prosperity, abundance, etc. So most people are always like, oh, why is this like this? Why is it like this? Don't ask, why is it like this? Be happy that it's like that because now you can see, you can have that contrast to take action so that you can live a better life so you don't have to experience that all that that comes with that BS, right? So like I said, you guys know all those negative emotions, fatigue, tiredness, sadness, depression, anxiety, etc. So that's the beauty of living in a dualistic reality is that we get to experience negative emotions so we can understand it, see where it's coming from, internalize it, and in turn, uh, you know, take actions in the real world to increase our likelihood of having more positive emotions and a less stressful future, a happier future, a healthier future, right? So, um, like I said, most people will let, like I said, that's why you see most people have an average lives, right? Because they let the anger, they let the fear, the worry, the sadness, the depression, the anxiety, the fatigue, they let all of that consume them and they just let it destroy their lives. And like I said, it's just a downward spiral for the next 30, 40 years of them existing. So you have the opportunity and here's your wake up call 
to use all the negativity that you may be experiencing, whatever it is, and use it to fuel you to act, right? Whether that's create financial freedom, whether that's to get in better shape so you can attract a, a, a high quality relationship, whether that's to go to school to become an engineer or a doctor to make a lot of money, right? To do something you enjoy, right? There's many different things you can do, but, it, and it's different for everybody, but like I said, the main premise, the main, the big picture here is you want to use negativity and anger and all of those things to fuel you, to, to fuel you to be better and have a better life, uh, have better life circumstances in the future. That's the goal, right? So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And as always, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.